So we're given the graph of a quadratic function, x squared minus 4x minus 2, uh, classic quadratic shape. There it is, the happy parabola, the smiley parabola. And we are asked to find estimates of solutions. So a bit of work to do here. Let's have a go. First thing is just x squared minus 4x minus 2 equals 0. That's going to be the roots of this uh, equation, the roots of this function, where it crosses the x-axis, because of course uh, that is the line y equals 0. This is here is the line y equals 0, and so I find the roots. So here are the, oops, in a pen would be good. Here are the numbers I want. I want those x values. Right, and we can just write those down. We can say x equals, using the scale carefully, uh, 5 little squares is 1, so 2 little squares is 0 0.4, so that's minus 0 0.4, or the other one is 4.4, and those are my two answers. Now, what is going on with the next one? We've got something very similar to the one above, but actually it's x squared minus 4x minus 6 equals 0. And the way we deal with these is we make that look like x squared minus 4x minus 2. And we have to see what happens. Well, how did I get from minus 6 to minus 2? I add 4, and so I add 4 to the other side as well. And so I've got x squared minus 4x minus 2, which is, that's this bit, that's the graph I've already got. And then I need to draw another graph. And so we draw this. So this means we draw y equals 4. And I'll do that in blue up here. The line y equals 4 is a horizontal line through 4. So that line there, I'll just make it nice and straight. There we go. So this is the line y equals 4. And I want the x values of these points of intersection here. So I just read down to the axis in each case and see roughly what they are. And I can see there that I've got about minus 1.1. Okay, so x is minus 1.1. On the left there, that's that one. Using the scale carefully, a little bit confusing there. And here it's about 5.1. I'm half a square along, so that's 5.1. Now what am I asked to do? Use the graph to find estimates for the simultaneous equations, but I'm not going to solve the simultaneous equations algebraically because it says use the graph. And again, I need to draw another line on here. I've got that line, that curve, there it is again, the happy parabola. Uh, so I need to draw this line, x plus y equals 6. Now if you don't know how to draw that, one really easy way of doing that is to find the two points where it cuts the axes. So x equals 0, gives me y equals 6. So it goes through, and I'm going to do this in a slightly different color, it goes through that point there, and then if I put y equals 0, well I get x equals 6 from that equation. And so that gives me this point here. And so I need a straight line that goes through those two points. So here we go, let's draw that straight line through those two points. There it is, beautifully straight, straight through those points. Okay, I'm actually just going to draw that again because I wasn't happy with that. Here it is, straight line through those two points, and that's better. Right, so that is the line, and I'll just label it, uh, x plus y equals 6. Always useful to be able to draw straight lines. And in the same way as the other things, the other questions, or well, the last question, I need to look for the points of intersection and find the x values of those. This is why I've done it in a different color, so that you can see clearly that I'm doing a different question. Okay, and now I just need to read those values off there, and I can see I've got about x equals minus one point, well, it's about three and a half squares, so that's minus 1.7, or, and the other one is, well, it's about three and a half squares above four, isn't it? So that'll be about 4.7. They will, of course, give you a little bit of leeway um, because you're drawing on a graph. Okay, that's not easy, but uh, have a look at the uh, video again, and I'm sure you'll get it.